JUnit Jupyter API in JUnit. Now uh, you are we are focusing on JUnit uh, dash Jupyter dash API. JUnit Jupyter API for writing tests and extensions. Uh, here you can see the sequential workflow of the lifecycle annotations for JUnit 5 as uh, is as follows. Uh, the uh, method one, the method annotated with uh, at before all is executed once at the start of the class uh, to the uh, method annotated with the before each uh, is uh, executes before test case one begins. 3 the, the method uh, test case 1 annotated with the uh, at test is the test case in the class uh, the method annotated with uh, uh, at after each runs after the test case 1 complete uh, uh, execution uh, five the uh, method uh, annotated with uh, before each at before each execute before the test case 2 begins uh, six the method uh, test case 2 annotated with that test uh, is the test case in the class uh, seven the method denoted with that after at after each runs after the test case to complete execution eight the uh, method denoted with at after all is, ex is executed once at the end of the class after both test case one and test case two are executed here the uh, annotation interface before all in uh, package org dot API in module of API at before all is used to signal that the annotated method should be executed uh, before all test in the uh, current test class um, before uh, annotation interface before each at before each is used to signal that the annotated method uh should be executed before each at test uh, uh, at uh, repeat test parameter at repeat uh, at parameter state at test factory and at test template method in the current test class Uh, the annotated annotation interface test at test is used to signal that the annotated method is the test method. Uh, annotation interface uh, after each. At after each is, is used to signal that the annotated method should be executed after each at test. Uh, at repeat test, at parameter test, test, at test factory and at test template method in the current test uh, class. Annotation interface after all. At after all is to is used to signal that the annotated method should be executed after all tests uh, in the current test class. Uh, here the uh, at before each uh, before all is connected to at before each and at before each connected to at test test case one. It is connected to uh, at after each and then at, at uh, after is connected to at before each and at before each is connected to at test test case 2 and it is connected to at after each and at after each connected to is connected to at after all. Here you can see the, uh, the re uh, uh, relative execution order of the uh, user code and ex extension uh, code. Uh, this diagram illustrates the relative order of uh, user supplied code. Uh, 
and the uh, extension uh, code user supplied uh, test and the lifecycle method are shown in uh, orange uh, with callback code implemented by extensions uh, shown in uh, blue the gray box denotes the execution uh, of a single test method uh, and will be repeated for every test method in the test class uh, here the uh, step one the interface or annotation the interface uh, org.jmnit.jupyter.api.extension. before uh, all callback uh, extension code executed before all tests of the container are executed uh, to uh, the annotation or dot before all user code uh, executed before all tests of the container are executed interface uh, 3 uh, the interface uh, org.jmnit.jupyter.api.extension. Uh, lifecycle method execution exception handler hash uh, handler before all method execution exception extension for handling exception thrown from at before all uh, methods for uh, interface org.jmnit.jupyter.api.extension. before each callback uh, extension code executed before each test is uh, executed uh, file the annotation uh, org.jmnit.jupyter.api.before before each user code executed before each test is uh, executed the uh, six the interface uh, uh, org .jmnit dot jupyter dot api dot extension dot lifecycle method execution exception handler hash handler before each method execution uh, exception extension code for handling exception thrown from the before at before each methods uh, seven interface org dot uh, dot jupyter dot api dot extension dot before test execution callback extension code executed immediately before a test is uh, executed uh, eight uh, annotation org dot dot jupyter dot api dot test user code of the actual test method. Nine uh, interface org dot jupyter dot api dot extension dot test execution exception handler. Extension uh, code for handling exception thrown during a test. Uh, Ten uh, interface org dot jupyter dot api dot extension dot after test execution callback extension code executed immediately after a test execution uh, and its corresponding exception handlers 11 uh, uh, annotation org.jmnit.jupyter.api. after each user code executed after each text uh, test is uh, executed uh, 12 uh, interface org.jmnit.jupyter.api.extension. lifecycle method execution exception handler hash handle after each method execution uh, exception extension code for handling exception thrown from at uh, after each uh, uh, methods uh, 13 uh, interface org.jmnit.jupyter.api.extension. after each callback extension code executed after each test uh, is executed 
13 14 annotation of to generate Jupyter dot API dot after all user code executed after all tests of the container are executed uh, 15 uh, interface org dot general jupyter dot api dot extension dot lifecycle method execution exception handler hash handle after all method exec uh, execution uh, exception extension code for handling exception thrown from the after all at after all methods uh, interface org dot uh, extension dot after all callback extension code executed after all tests of the container are executed uh, in the simplest case uh, only the actual test method will be uh, executed step uh, 8 all other steps are optional depending on the presence of uh, user code or uh, extension support for corresponding lifecycle uh, callbacks uh, for further for further details on the various lifecycle callbacks please contact, consult the respective java doc for each annotation and uh, uh, extension uh, here the interface before all call uh, before all callback in package org dot jupyter dot api dot extension in module org dot jupyter dot api this uh, before all callback defines a and the api extension that wish to provide additional behavior to test containers once before all tests in the container have been executed Uh, the annotation interface before all uh, in uh, package org dot dot jupyter dot api in module j org dot dot jupyter dot api at before all is used to signal that annotated method should be executed before all tests in the current test class. The interf uh, uh, here the uh, default void uh, handle before all method execution uh, exception extension context context throwable throwable uh, hand uh, uh, in the interface lifecycle method execution exception handler. Uh, Uh, handle the supplied throwable that was thrown during the execution of uh, of uh, at before lifecycle method interface before each callback before each callback defines the api for extensions that wish to provide additional behavior to tests before an individual uh, test and any user defined setup method for example uh, before at before each uh, methods uh, for that the test have been executed um, annotation interface before each at before each is used to signal that the annotated method should be executed before each at test, uh, at repeated test, at parameterized test, at test factory, and at test template method in the current test class. Uh, 
default void uh, handle before each method execution exception uh, extension context context uh, throwable throwable in uh, interface lifecycle method execution exception handler uh, the handle um, the supply throwable that was thrown during the execution of uh, before at before each uh, lifecycle method Uh, interface before test execution callback before test execution callbacks uh, defines the API for extension that wish to provide the additional behavior to the test immediately before an individual test uh, is executed uh, but after any user defined uh, setup method for example at before each uh, methods have been executed for that test uh, annotation interface test uh, at test is used to signal that annotated annotated method is a test method Uh, interface test execution exception handler the test execution exception handler defines the API uh, for extensions that wish to handle exceptions thrown during the test execution interface after test execution callback after test execution callbacks define the API uh, define the API for extensions that wish to provide additional behavior to test immediately after the after an individual test ha has been executed before uh, any user defined tear down methods for example uh, after each methods have been executed for that test uh, Annotation interface after each at after each is, after each is used to signal that the annotated method should be ex executed after each at test uh, at repeated test at parameterized test at test factory and at test template method in the current test class. Handle after each method execution exception. Uh, sorry, the default void handle after each method execution ex uh, ex ex exception extension uh, con context context throwable throwable in uh, interface uh, lifecycle method execution concept uh, execution exception handle handle the supply throwable that was thrown during the execution of. Uh, after each life cycle method Uh, interface uh, after each callback after each callback define the API for extensions that want to provide uh, that wish to provide additional behavior to test after an individual test 
and uh, any user define uh, tear down methods for example at after at after each method that the test have been executed the annotation interface uh, after all at after all methods must have a void return uh, sorry uh, the after all is used to signal that the annotated method should be uh, executed after all test uh, uh, in the current test class the uh, default void uh, handle after all method uh, execution exception extension context context throwable throwable in uh, live interface life interface life cycle method execution exception handler handle the supply throwable that was thrown during the execution of at after all life cycle method interface after all callback after all callback define the api for extensions that wish to provide additional behavior to test containers once after all tests uh, container have been um, executed here the uh, extension uh, codes are here the before all callback uh, before and these exceptions and before each callback before test execution callback after test execution callback after each callback after uh, all callback and these life cycle methods and the user codes are at before uh, all at before each at test at after each at after all uh, here the uh, steps uh, the uh, uh, the order is uh, before all callback then uh, then uh, at before all to the then uh, life cycle method execution exception handler at hash uh, handle before all method execution exception then uh, before each callback then be at before each then uh, uh, life cycle method execution exception handler at hash uh, handler before each method execution execution exception then before test execution callback then at test then test exception execution exception handler then after test uh, execution all back then at after call after each then life cycle method execution exception handler hash handle after each method execution exception then at uh, I'm the sorry and uh, after each callback then at after all then life cycle method execution exception handler hash handle after all method execution exception then after all callback example we can consider the module uh, org.junit.jupyter.api uh, defines junit jupyter api for writing tests uh, as an example too we can consider this code segment um, uh, writing tests the follow, uh, following example provide the glimpse of a uh, glimpse at the minimum uh, requirement for writing a test in junit uh, jupyter uh, annotation interface test uh, ampersand test is used to signal that the annotated method is a test method annotation method must be must not be private or static and must not return a value annotation test methods may optionally declare parameters to be resolved by parameter resolvers 
and annotation test may be used to use as a meta annotation in order to create a custom composed annotation that inherits the semantics of apple sign test uh, this is in the module org.junit.jupiter.api and package uh, org.junit.jupiter.api as an uh, example three we can consider extension model for example to register a web service extension uh, for a particular uh, test method uh, you would annotate the test method as follows here we assume the web server extension starts a local web server and injects uh, the server's url into parameters uh, annotated with uh, uh, per sign uh, web server uh, web server url uh, annotation interface extend with ampersign extend with is a repeatable annotation that is used to register extension for the uh, annotated test class test interface test method pa parameter or field here you can use the use web client to uh, connect to web server uh, and verify response uh, here assert equals uh, assert that expected uh, and actuals are equal this is expected uh, and this is actual uh, as an example for we can consider this uh, gradle example here you can see uh, the artifact id uh, uh, junit jupyter api uh, this is in the group uh, org.junit.jupyter as an example 5 we can consider this maven segment uh, you can see the artifact id junit jupyter api here uh, this is in the group uh, org.jnit.jupyter Jupiter. Here the version 5.8.2 and scope is uh, scope is test. Um, as an example six, we are now considering uh, writing tests. Uh, Here the uh, annotation interface uh, at test is uh, at test in package org.jupyter.api in module org.jupyter.api at test is uh, used to signal that uh, the annotated method uh, is a test method. The following example provide the glimpse uh, at the minimum requirement for writing a test in JUnit Jupyter. Subsequent. Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, now we are considering metadata annotations and uh, compost annotations. Uh, uh, in annotations, uh, at first can be uh, can then be used as a drop-in replacement for uh, uh, at tag fast. JUnit Jupyter annotations can be used as meta annotations. That means that you can define your own composed annotation that will automatically inherit the sem semantics of its meta annotations. For example, instead of copying and pasting uh, at tag fast through, uh, throughout your code base, uh, you can create a custom composed annotation, annotation named uh, uh, at fast uh, as follows. So at first uh, can then be uh, used as a drop-in replacement for at tag uh, fast. Um, 
the following uh, test method uh, demonstrate the usage of uh, at fast annotation you can even take uh, uh, take that uh, one step further by introducing a custom fast tag uh, annotation uh, uh, at fast tag annotation that can be used as a drop in re replacement for at tag uh, fast uh, and uh, at test JUnit uh, automatically recognizes the following as uh, uh, at test method that is tagged with uh, fast now we are considering uh, a standard test class in uh, test classes and methods uh, annotation interface uh, test uh, in package org.jnu.jupyter.api in module org.jnu.jupyter.api uh, at test is used to signal that the annotated method is a test method the test methods and uh, lifecycle methods uh, uh, may be declared locally within the current test class inherited from uh, super classes or inherited from interfaces in addition test method and lifecycle method must not be abstract uh, and must not return a value except for uh, except at test factory uh, methods which are required to return a value class and method uh, visibility test classes uh, test methods uh, and lives and uh, life cycle methods are not required to be uh, public uh, but they must not be private it is generally recommended to omit the public modifier for test classes uh, and test methods and te and test uh, and life cycle methods uh, unless there is a technical reason for doing so for example when a test class is extended by a test class in another pack another package another technical uh, reason for making a public class and public uh, class and uh, public uh, classes and Sorry, another technical reason for making classes and methods public is to simplify testing on a module uh, path when using Java module system. The following uh, test class demonst demonstrate the usage of uh, at test methods and uh, all supported lifecycle uh, methods. Uh, not uh, ex not executed now uh, uh, now we are considering uh, display names uh, test classes and test uh, methods uh, can declare custom display names via uh, at display name uh, with uh, spaces and special uh, characters and uh, and uh, even emo emojis uh, that will be displayed in test reports and uh, by test runners and uh, IDs the notation interface uh, display name in package org.jnu.jupyter.api in module org.jnu.jupyter.api at display name is used to declare a custom display name for the uh, for the annotated test class or test me uh, test method uh, 
Um, here we are considering uh, assertions. Um, all genuine assertions are static methods in the org dot uh, dot jupyter dot api dot assertions class. The class uh, assertions. Uh, uh, in package org dot jupyter dot api in module org dot jupyter dot api assertions is a collection of fully met utility methods that support assert asserting conditions in uh, uh, tests. Jnuit Jupyter comes with the many assertion methods that Jnuit four has, and added adds a few that uh, lend themselves to. Uh, being used with Java 8 lambdas. All, all JNU Jupyter assertions are static methods in the org.jnu.jupyter.api.assertions class. Um, preemptive uh, timeout uh, with uh, assert pre uh, timeout. Uh, preemptively the various assert timeout preemptively methods in the assert class execute uh, the provided executable or uh, uh, supplier in a different thread than that of the calling code this behavior can lead to undesirable side effects if the code that is executed within the executable or supplier relies on uh, local uh, thread local storage one common Common uh, example of this is the transactional testing support in the Spring framework. Specifically, uh, Spring's testing support bind transaction state to the current thread via a local thread before a test method is invoked. Consequently, if an executable low supplier provided to assert timeout preemptively invokes Spring managed components that participate in transactions, any, any actions taken by those components will not be rolled back with the test managed transaction. On the on con on the uh, on the contrary, such action will be committed to persistent store store. For example, relational database. Even though the test manage transaction is rollback, similar side uh, effects may be encountered with other framework that rely on local thread storage. A group uh, assertion, all assertions are executed and all failures will be reported together. Within a code, within a code block, if an assertion fails, uh, subsequent, uh, subsequent code in the same block will, will be skipped. Execute only if the previous assertion is uh, valid. Grouped assertion, uh, so processed uh, independently of the result of the first na uh, name assertions. Executed only if the previous assertion is valid.
the uh, following assertion succeeds perform uh, task that takes less than 2 minutes the uh, following assertion succeeds and uh, returns the supplied uh, object The following assertion invokes a method uh, uh, reference and returns an uh, uh, object. The following assertion fails and uh, uh, with an error message similar to uh, exceeded timeout of 10 uh, milliseconds by uh, 91 milliseconds. Simulate the task that takes more than 10 uh, milliseconds. The uh, following assertion will uh, fails with an error message uh, similar to uh, execution timeout after uh, 10 milliseconds. Simulate the task that takes more than 10 milliseconds. Uh, here you can see uh, the Kotlin assertion uh, support. Uh, all JUnit Jupyter Kotlin assertions are top level functions in the JUnit dot uh, uh, Jupyter dot uh, oh, sorry org dot JUnit dot Jupyter dot API dot pack, API package uh, uh, JUnit Jupyter also comes with a few assertion methods that lend themselves well to be in, used in Kotlin. All JUnit uh, Jupyter Kotlin assertions are top level functions in the org.jnit.jupyter.api uh, package. Um, This mapping returns uh, a stream uh, stream in JUnit. The following assertion fails with an uh, error message similar to execution timeout after uh, 10 milliseconds. Simulate the task that takes more than 10 milliseconds. Uh, 
now we are considering assumptions all general jupiter assumptions are static methods in the org.general.jupiter.api.assumptions class the cla uh, class assumptions in package org.general.jupiter.api in module org.general.jupiter.api assumptions is a collection of utility methods that supports conditional uh, test uh, execution based on the based on assumptions jnet jupiter comes with a subset of uh, assumption methods that jnet 4 provides and adds a few that lend themselves well to being used with J, uh, java 8 lambda expressions and method references all join jnet jupiter assumptions are static methods in the uh, org jnet jupiter api dot assumptions uh, class as of jupiter 4.5.4 It is also possible to use the use methods from Jupyter Force Org. Jupyter to assume class for assumptions. Specifically, Jupyter Jupyter supports Jupyter Force assumption violated exception to uh, signal that a test should be aborted instead of making as a failure. reminder of test reminder of test perform this uh, sessions only on uh, ci server perform these sessions in all environments now we are considering a disabling test the entire class or individual test methods uh, may be disabled via the add disabled annotation via one of the annotation this um annotation interface uh, disabled in package org.jupyter.api in module org.jupyter.api at disabled is used to signal that the annotated class uh, or test method is currently disabled and should not be executed here is a dis at disabled test class Here is a test class that contain uh, contains a at disabled test method. Uh, at disabled uh, may be declared without providing a reason. Uh, how, however, uh, JNET, the JNET team recommends that developers provide a short explanation for why a test class or a test method uh, has been disabled. Consequently. these examples uh, both show the use of a reason for uh, for example the here some developers uh, development teams even require the presence of issue tracking numbers in the reason for uh, uh, automated traceability uh, etc now we are considering uh, conditional uh, test uh, sorry uh, in conditional uh, considering operating system and architecture conditions in conditional uh, test uh, execution uh, is the conditional execution based on operating system um the uh, annotation interface enabled on uh, os in package org.jupyter.api.condition in module org.jupyter.api at enable on os is used to signal that the annotated test class or test method is only enabled 
on uh, one or more specified operating system so one or more uh, specified uh, architectures the notation interface disabled uh, uh, on OS in package org.jnu.jupyter.api.f condition in module org.jnu.jupyter.api at disable on OS is used to signal that the annotated test class or test method is disabled on one or more speci uh, specified operating systems or uh, more specified uh, architectures um, a container or test um, may be enabled or disabled um, on particular operating system uh, architect, archit, uh, architecture or uh, combination of both via uh, 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 enabled uh, at enabled OS so and uh, at disabled OS annotations here the conditional execution based on uh, operating systems here the uh, conditional execution based on architecture Now we are considering uh, tagging and filtering. Those tags can later be uh, used to filter test discovery and execution. Uh, the annotation interface uh, tag in package org.jupyter.api in module org.jupyter.api at tag is uh, a, represent a repeatable annotation that is used to declare a tag for annotated test class or test method. Test classes and methods uh, can be tagged via attack, attack annotation. Those tags can later be used to filter test discovery and execution. Now we are considering uh, method order in test ex execution order the uh, following example demonstrates uh, how to guarantee uh, the, uh, that the test methods are executed uh, in the order specified via the at order annotation uh, annotation interface order in package org.jupyter.api in module org.jupyter.api uh, at order is an annotation that is used to configure the order in which the annotation element that is field uh, uh, method or class uh, should be evaluated or executed relative to the other elements in the same category uh, although true unit tests typically should not rely on the order in which they are executed there are times when it is necessary to enforce a specific test method execution order for example when writing integration test or functional test where the sequence of test is important especially uh, uh, especially in conjunction with uh, at test instance the lifecycle dot uh, per chart per class uh, to control the order in which test methods are executed annotate to a test class or test interface with uh, at test method uh, at test method order and specify the desired method order uh, 
or use one of the following built-in uh, method order uh, uh, implementation method order uh, dot display name short test tree methods uh, alpha numerically based on their display names method order dot method name short test methods uh, alpha numerically based on their names and uh, formal uh, formal parameter list method order dot order annotation uh, uh, short test method numerically based on the value specified via at order annotation method order random o orders test method pseudo randomly and support configuration of custom seed method order dot alphanumeric short uh, short test methods alphanumerically based on the names and parameter list duplicated in favor of method order dot method name to be removed in 6.0 uh, the following example demonstrates how to guarantee that test methods are executed in the order specified via at order annotation. Um, perform assertions against null values. Perform assertions against empty values. Perform assertions against valid values. Now we are considering a change in the default test instance lifecycle in uh, test instance lifecycle. Um, for example, to set the default test instance lifecycle mode to lifecycle dot uh, per class, you can start your JVM with the following system uh, property. If a test class or test class uh, uh, if a test class or test interface is not annotated with uh, at test instance, general Jupyter will use default lifecycle mode. The standard default mode is per method. However, it is possible to change the default for the execution of an entire test plan. To change the default test instance lifecycle mode, set uh, uh, jupyter.instance. Uh, uh, lifecycle dot default uh, configuration parameter with the name of an enum constants defined in the te test instance lifecycle um, ignoring case this can be supplied as a jvm system property as a configuration parameter in the launcher discovery request that is passed to the launcher over the jvnode platform configuration file for example, to set the default set a test instance lifecycle mode, lifecycle dot per class, uh, you can start your JVM with the following system property here. Note, however, that uh, the, the the settings the default test instance lifecycle mode via the JUnit platform configuration file is more robust solution since configuration file can be checked into a version control system along with the project and can therefore be used within uh, IDEs and your build software. To set the default test instance lifecycle mode to lifecycle per dot per class via the JUnit platform configuration file, create a file named uh, JUnit dash uh, platform dot properties in the root of the class path. For example, source, then test, then resources with the following content here. Uh, changing the default test instance lifecycle mode can lead to unpredictable results and fragile builds uh, if not supplied uh, applied consistently. For example, if the build configures per class semantics as the default but the test in the ID are executed using per method semantics, it can make the difficult to debug uh, errors and that occur on the build servers. It is therefore recommended to change the default in the JVM platform configuration file instead of via a JVM system property. Uh, now we are considering nested test. Here is an elaborate uh, example, both as source code and uh, 
uh, as a screenshot of the execution uh, within an id um, the annotation interface uh, nested at uh, in uh, package org.jupyter.api in module jupyter. sorry org.jupyter.api at nested is used to signal that the annotated class is a nested uh, non static test class that is an inner class that can share the setup and state with an instance of its enclosing class the enclosing class may be a top level test class or another at nested test class and nesting can be arbiter uh, arbitrarily deep um, at nested uh, test give you give the test writer more ca uh, capabilities to express the relationship among several groups of tests such nested tests make use of java nested classes and facilitate hierarchical thinking about the test structure here's an elaborate example both as a source code uh, and as a screenshot of the execution of id uh, within an id is the nested test suit for testing a uh, stack when executing this example in an ID, the test execution tree in the GUI uh, will look similar to the following image here. Uh, this is executing a nested test in an ID. In this example, uh, preconditions uh, from the outer tests are uh, used in the uh, 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 used in the uh, inner test by uh, defining hierarchical uh, lifecycle method for setup code uh, for example uh, create new stack uh, method is uh, uh, before each uh, lifecycle method that is used in the test class in which uh, it is defined uh, and in all levels in the uh, uh, nesting tree below the class in which is defined uh, the fact that setup code from the outer tests are is run before inner tests uh, uh, are executed gives you the ability to run all tests independently you can even run inner test alone without running the outer test because the setup code from the outer test is always executed. Only uh, non-static nested classes, that is inner classes can serve uh, uh, as at nested uh, test classes. Nesting can be arbitrarily deep and those inner classes are subject to full life cycle support with one exception. At before all, uh, and after all methods do not work by default. The reason is that the Java does not uh, allow static members in inner classes prior to Java 16. However, this restriction can be circumvented by denotating a nested cl test class with at test instance lifecycle dot per class. Uh, if you are using Java 16 or higher at before all and after, at after all method can be declared as static in the in uh, at nested test class, and this restriction is uh, nested, this restriction no longer applies.
Um, now we are considering uh, test info parameter resolver uh, in uh, dependency injection for constructors and uh, methods. Uh, the following demonstrates the how the how to have a test info in injected into a test constructor uh, and at before each method and test method. Uh, class test info parameter resolver in package of .jupyter.engine.exec extension. The parameter resolver that ex resolves the uh, uh, test info for the current rail executing uh, test. Testing for parameter resolver if a constructor or method parameter of type testing for uh, the testing for parameter resolver will supply an instance of testing for correspond to the current container or uh, test. Um, Uh, as a value for the parameter, uh, the test info can then uh, then be used to retrieve information about current container or uh, test su uh, such as display name, uh, test class, uh, test uh, method, and associated tags. The display name is either technical name such as the name of the test class, so uh, test method or custom name configured by a uh, uh, display uh, name. The, te te the uh, test info acts as a drop in replacement for the test name rule from JUnit 4. The following demonstrate how to use uh, how to have test info injected into test constructor before each uh, method and at test method. Now we are considering uh, test interfaces and uh, default methods. Uh, here are some examples. Uh, Jupyter allows uh, at the test um, at repeat test at uh, parameterized test at text factory uh, at test template and uh, 
uh, at before all at before each at after each and uh, uh, after each to be uh, declared uh, on interface default methods uh, before all at before all and after at after uh, at at before all and at, at after all can either declare a static method in a test interface so on uh, or on interface default methods if the test interface or test class is another test with uh, um, at, te at test instance lifecycle dot per class uh, here are some examples Uh, at uh, extend width and at, at tag can be declared on test interface so that uh, classes that implement the interface automatically inherit its tags and extensions. In your class, you can uh, then implement these test interfaces to have them applied. Running uh, inter test interface demo uh, results in the output similar to the following.
uh, now we are considering uh, repeat uh, repeated test executing repeated test demo with the info log level enabled uh, uh, enabled result in the following uh, 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 output here um, the annotation interface uh, repeated test in package org.jupyter.api in module org.jupyter.api at repeated test is used to signal that the annotated method is a test template method that should be repeated in a specified number of times with the uh, uh, configurable uh, uh, display name and uh, uh, optional uh, failure uh, the failure uh, uh, threshold a repeated test demo class uh, at the uh, here the uh, demonstrate several examples of repeated test the uh, repeated test method is identical to the exam uh, uh, whereas the uh, repeated uh, uh, repeated test with repeated with repetition uh, info here the uh, demonstrate uh, this uh, sorry the uh, the repeated test method is uh, you can see here and the whereas the uh, repeated test with repetition info demonstrate how to have instance of uh, repetition info uh, injected into the test to access the total number of repetition for the current repeated test uh, repeated test with failure threshold um, demonstrate how to start a failure threshold and simulate an unexpected failure for every second uh, uh, every second uh, repetition uh, the resulting behavior can be reviewed in the console launch output uh, at the end here and the uh, next two methods demonstrate uh, uh, how to include the custom uh, at display name for at repeated test uh, method in the display name of uh, each uh, repetition The uh, custom display name uh, uh, combines the custom display name with the custom pattern that uses test info uh, to verify the format of the generated display name. Uh, repeat. Uh, bank sign is the display name uh, which comes from the at display name uh, declaration uh, uh, 1 divided by 1 comes from the current repetition divided by total repetition in contrast the custom display name with the long pattern uh, uses after mentioned predefined repeated test dot uh, long display name pattern repeated test uh, repeated test uh, in German uh, demonstrate the ability to ability to translate the display names of repeated test into foreign languages Uh, in this case German resulting in names for individual repetitions such as Wieder Honglong, Wieder uh, Holong, one one five, Wieder Holong two one 
फाइव एक्सेट्रा सिंस सिंस ईच बिफोर ईच सिंस द बिफोर ईच मेथड इज एनोटेटेड विथ एट बिफोर ईच इट विल एक्सिक्यूट बिफोर ईच रेपिटेशन ऑफ ईच रिपीटेड टेस्ट वी सी दैट इट्स पॉसिबल टू ऑप्टेन इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द करंट एक्सिक्यूशन रिपीटेड टेस्ट एक्सिक्यूटिंग रिपीटेड टेस्ट डेमो विथ इम्फो लॉग लेवल एनेबल रिजल्ट इन दी फॉलोइंग आउटपुट हि when you see the uh, console launch uh, with the unicode theme enabled execution of repeated test demo result in the following output console here likewise is goes to a 10 repetitions simulate unexpected failure every second repetition
likewise this goes to up to repetition 10 of 10 let's move to uh, this one here Then it comes to here, boom. Then here again, boom, and then uh, threshold exceeded here. and the German repeated test in German is repeated five times likewise uh, now we are considering a parameterized test the following example demonstrate a parameterized test that uses uh, uh, at value source annotation to specify string array as a source uh, of arguments The annotation interface uh, parameterized test uh, in package org.jupyter.params in module org.jupyter.params uh, at parameterized uh, test is used to uh, signal that the annotated method uh, is a parameterized test method. The parameterized test uh, make uh, it possible to run uh, uh, a test multiple times with the different arguments if the if they are declared just like regular at test method uh, but use at parameterized test annotation instead uh, in addition you must declare at least one source uh, that will provide the argument uh, for each invocation uh, then uh, consume argument in test method the, fo the following example uh, demonstrate the a parameterized test uh, that uses a value source uh, at value source annotation to specify a string array of uh, uh, so, uh, so source arguments when executing uh, this uh, the uh, this parameterized test method uh, each invocation will repeat uh, will be reported separately for instance console launcher will print out uh, similar of to the following Uh, test templates now we are considering test templates a test uh, at that a test template method is not a regular test case but ra uh, but rather a template for test cases the annotation interface uh, test at uh, a test template in package org.jupyter.api in module org.jupyter.api uh, at test template is used to uh, signal that the annotated method is a test template method uh, at test template method is not uh, a regular 
test case but rather a template for test cases as such it is designed to be invoked multiple times depending on a number of invocation contexts returned by the registered providers thus it must be used in conjunction with a registered uh, test template invocation context provider extension uh, each method invocation of a template method behave like uh, like the execution of the regular test method uh, with uh, full support for the same lifecycle callbacks and extensions repeated test and parameter test are built in specialization of specializations of test templates now we are considering uh, dynamic tests for demonstration purposes the dynamic uh, uh, not sing, uh, single test uh, method generates a single dynamic uh, test instead of a stream and dynamic not single container method generate a nested hierarchy of dynamic test utilizing dynamic uh, container the class uh, uh, dynamic test in package org.jupyter.api uh, in module org.jupyter.api a dynamic test is a test case generated at runtime the following dynamic uh, test demo class uh, demonstrate the several examples of uh, test factories and dynamic tests uh, the uh, first test method returns a uh, invalid return type uh, since an um, invalid type cannot be de detected at compile time jnut exception is thrown when it is uh, detected at uh, run time um the next six methods demonstrate uh, demonstrate the generation of uh, collection and uh, iteratable uh, uh, iterable and iterator and uh, uh, array and uh, stream of dynamic test instances most of these examples do not really exhibit dynamic behavior but may only demonstrate a supported return type in principle however the dynamic test from stream uh, and dynamic test from int stream um demonstrate how to generate dynamic test for a given set of strings or range of input numbers uh, next method is truly dynamic in nature uh, the generated generate random number of tests uh, is of course uh, 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 impl um, uh, next method is the to, um, that uh, the next method is tool dynamic in nature that generate random number of tests implements an iterator that generates random numbers uh, a display name generator and uh, Uh, 
Um, and a test executor and then provides all three dynamic test dot stream although non deterministic behavior of generate random number tests uh, is of course in conflict with the test repeatability and should thus be used with care it serves to demonstrate the expressiveness and power of dynamic tests The next method is similar to generate random number of test in more flexibility. However, the dy dynamic test for from stream factory method uh, uh, generates a stream of dynamic test from existing stream via dynamic test dot stream. Uh, stream dynamic dot dynamic test dot stream method uh, uh, stream factory method for demonstration purposes dynamic not single test uh, uh, method generates a single dynamic test instead of a stream and the dynamic not single container method uh, uh, generates a nested hierarchy of dynamic tests utilizing dynamic container. This will result uh, a J note exception. Generate test for the first 10 E1 integers. Generate random positive integers between 1 and 100 until a number currently divided divisible by 7 uh, encountered. Generate display names like uh, input uh, 5, input 37, input 85, etc. Execute test based on the current input value. Return the stream of dynamic tests. stream of uh, palindromes to check generate display names like race car in the pal palindrome execute test based on the current input uh, value return the stream of dynamic tests Stream of palindromes to check. Return the stream of dynamic tests.
now we are considering timeouts. Uh, the following example shows how a timeout is applied to lifecycle and test methods. Um, a timeout annotation allows one to declare that uh, a test of a test factor, a test template, or lifecycle method uh, should fail if its execution time exceeds the given duration. Uh, the time unit for the duration default to seconds, but it's uh, is uh, configurable. The following example shows how a timeout is applied to lifecycle and uh, uh, test methods. To apply the same uh, timeout uh, to all test methods within a test class, all of its nested classes uh, and and all of its nested classes, you can declare a timeout annotation at the class level. Uh, it it will then be applied to all tests, test factory, test uh, template methods within that class and it's at net, uh, nested class unless overridden by a, a timeout. Um, annotations declared at the class level are uh, sorry, uh, time annotation on the specific method or nested class. Uh, please note uh, that the timeout annotation declared at the class level are not applied to the lifecycle methods. Uh, declaring uh, a timeout on the on uh, at test factory method uh, uh, checks that factory method returns within a specified duration but does not verify the execution time of each dynamic in each individual dynamic test generated by the factory please use assert timeout uh, method or assert timeout preemptively method for that purpose if the timeout at timeout is present on uh, at template at test template method for example at repeated test or at parameters test each invocation will have the given timeout uh, applied to it Fail if the execution time exceeds 5 seconds. Fail if the execution time execute uh, exceeds uh, 500 uh, milliseconds. Fail if the execution uh, time exceeds uh, 500 millisecond the test code is executed in a separate thread uh, now we are considering uh, parallel execution uh, uh, sorry synchronization in parallel execution two tests that require read access uh, uh, the two tests that require read access to the to a shared resource may run in parallel with each other but not while any other test that required read write access to the same shared resource is running uh, annotation interface execution in package org.jupyter.api.parallel in module org.jupyter.api at execution is used to configure the parallel execution mode of a test class or test method. Uh, NM uh, public static uh, final execution mode concurrent NM class execution mode in package org to parallel in module log to api allow concurrent execution with any other node. Uh, in addition to the uh, in addition to controlling the execution mode using at execution annotation Jupyter Jupiter provides another 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 annotation based declarative synchronization mechanism uh, at resource lock annotation allows you to declare that a test class or test a test class or method uses a specific shared resource that requires synchronized access to ensure reliable test execution the shared resource is identified by a unique name which is uh, a string. Uh, 
The name can be user defined or one of the predefined constant in resources. Uh, system property, system out, system error, local or time zone. If the test in the following uh, uh, in example were run in parallel without the use of at resource uh, lock, uh, they would be flaky. Sometimes they would pass, and at other times they will they would fail due to inherent uh, race condition of writing and writing and then reading the same JVM system property. When access to shared resources at declared is uh, resources is declared using at resource lock uh, annotation, the general Jupyter engine uses this information to ensure that no conflicting tests are par uh, run uh, in parallel. Running tests in isolation, most of your test classes can be run in parallel without any synchronization, but you have some test classes that need to run iso in isolation. You can mark the letter with the at isolated annotation. Test in such classes are executed se sequentially without any other results, uh, other tests running at the same time. In addition to the string that uniquely identified the shared resource, you may specify an access mod. Uh, two tests that require read access uh, to a shared resource may run in parallel um, with each other but not while any other test that requires read access to the same shared resource is running. Now we are considering uh, the temp, uh, temp directory extension in built-in extensions. A test method that require a temporary directory. The uh, annotation interface temp dir uh, in package org .io in module org .api. A temp dir can be used to annotate a field in a test class. So a, para a parameter in a life cycle method or test method of type path uh, or file that should be resolved into temporary directory. The built-in uh, temp directory extension is used to create a cleanup temporary directory for individual test or all tests that in uh, in the in uh, test class it is registered by default to use that I used to use it annotate a non-final unassigned field of type java.nio.file.path uh, or java.io.file with at temp dir or at the parameter of type java.nio.file.path or uh, java.io.file annotated with at temp dir uh, to, to a lifecycle method or test method. Um, for example, the following test declared a parameter annotated with uh, at temp dir for a single test method uh, creates and write to a file uh, 
in the temp uh, temporary directory uh, and checks its uh, contents Uh, now we are considering extension API, the overview. In contrast to the complete competing runner, test rule and method rule extension point in JUnit 4.0, sorry, for JUnit 4, the JUnit Jupyter extension model consists of a single coherent concept, the ex extension API. Note, however, that the extension itself is just a marker interface. Uh, now we are considering uh, declarative extension registration in registering uh, extensions. Uh, we assume the web service extension starts a local web server and injects the server URL uh, into uh, uh, parameter annotated with uh, at web server uh, URL. Uh, the uh, annotation interface extend with uh, in package org.jupyter.api.extension in module org.jupyter.api at extension with is a repeatable uh, annotation that is used to register extension for annotated test class test interface test method parameter or field uh, developers can register one or more extension uh, uh, declaratively uh, by annotating a test interface, test class, uh, test method uh, or custom compost annotation with uh, ext at extend width and supplying the class references for extension to register as of JNOT Jupyter 5.8 uh, the extend width uh, at extend width may also be declared on fields or on parameters in test class constructed in test methods and in uh, be at before at after all at before all, at after all, at before each and at after each lifecycle methods. For example, to register web server extension for a particular test method, you would annotate the test method as follows. We assume the web server extension starts a local web server and injects the server service URL into parameters annotated with uh, at web server URL. Uh, to register the web server, uh, the uh, web server extension, uh, for all tests in a uh, uh, particular class and its subclasses, you would annotate the test class as follows. Uh, multiple uh, extensions can be registered together like this. As an alternative, uh, multiple extensions can be registered separately like this. Extensions registered declarative via at extend with at class level, method level, or parameter level will be executed in the order in which they are declared in the source code. For example, the execution test in both my my first tests uh, and my second test will be extended by the database uh, extension and web server uh, uh, extension in exactly that order. Use the web client uh, to connect to the web server using server uh, URL and verify res uh, the response. Now we are considering uh, deactivating uh, 
conditions in conditional test execution. For example, to deactivate JUnit's uh, at uh, disabled uh, condition, you can start your JVM with the following system uh, property. Sometimes uh, it can be useful to run the test suite without uh, certain conditions being active. For example, you may wish to run test even if there are annotated with a disabled in order to see uh, if, they are, if they are still broken. To do this, uh, provide a pattern for condition dot uh, deactivate configuration parameter to specify which condition should be deactivated that is not evaluated for the current run, uh, test run. The pattern can be sup supplied as a JVM property as a configuration parameter launcher discovery request that is passed to the launcher or via the JVM platform configuration file. For example, to deactivate the JVM at disabled condition, you can start the J your JVM with the following system property. Uh, now we are considering uh, a test instance uh, pre-construct callback. Test instance pre-construct callback define the API for extension that wish to be invoked prior to the test instances being constructed by a constructor call or via a test instance factory. Interface uh, test instance pre-construct callback in package org.jupyter.api.extension in module org.jupyter.api. Test instance pre-construct callback define the API for extension that wish to be invoked prior to the creation of test instances. Um, this extension provides a symmetrical uh, symmetric call to test instance pre-destroy callback and is useful in combination with other extension to prepare constructor parameters so keep in track of test instances and their lifecycle. Um, now we are considering test instance factories. Uh, Test instance factory uh, defines then the API for extension that wish to create test class instances. Interface test instance factory in package org.jupyter.api.extension in module org.jupyter.api. Test instance factory define API for extension that wish to create test instances. Uh, common use uh, cases include acquiring a test instance from a dependency injection framework or invoking a study factory method to create a test instance, test class instance. If uh, no test instance factory registered, the framework will invoke the sole constructor for the test class to in instantiate it, potentially resolving uh, uh, constructor argument via registered parameter resolver extensions. Uh, extensions that implement test instance factory can be registered on the test interfaces top level test class or nest at nested uh, test classes. Registering multiple extensions that implement a, a test instance factory or for any single class will result exception being thrown for all tests that in that class in any subclasses and in extra class and not that test instance factory registered in a superclass or enclosing class that is the case of at nested class is inherited it is uh, a user's responsibility to ensure that only only a single test factory uh, test instance factory registered for the for any specific test class uh, Test uh, instance post-processing. Test instance post-processes are defined the API for extensions that wish to uh, post-process test instances. Uh, interface te test instance post-processor in package org.jupyter.api.extension in module org.jupyter.api. Test instance post-processor uh, defines the API for extensions that wish to post-process test instances. Uh, Uh, common use case include injecting dependencies into the test instance invoking custom initialization methods on the test instance, uh, instance ex uh, etc. Uh, for a concrete example, consult your source code for mock2 extension and the uh, is, is ex extension examples in documentation. Uh, test instance pre-destroy callback. Uh, test instance pre-destroy callback define the API for extensions that wish to process the test instances after they have been used in test and before they are destroyed. Uh, interface test instance pre-destroy callback pack in package org.jupyter.api.extension in module org.jupyter.api. Test instance pre-destroy callback defines the API for extension that wish to process test instances after they have been used in test but uh, before they are destroyed. Uh, common use cases include cleaning the dependencies that have been injected into the test instance, invoking custom the initialization methods on the test instance, uh, instance etc. Uh, 
parameter resolution parameter resolver defines the extension api for dynamically resolving parameters at runtime interface parameter resolver in package ogro generate jupyter api dot extension in module ogro generate jupyter dot api parameter resolver that defines the api for extension that wish to dynamically resolve argument for parameters at runtime uh, if a, if a test class construct a test method or life cycle method declares a parameter the parameter must be resolved at runtime by a parameter resolver parameter resolver I, I can either be built in or registered by the user generally sp speaking parameters may be resolved by name type annotation or any combination thereof if you wish to implement a custom parameter resolver that resolves the parameter based solely on the type of the parameter you may find convenient to extend the type based parameter resolver which serves as a generic adapter for this uh, for such use cases complete uh, sorry due to the bug in uh, bytecode generated by java c on jdk versions prior to jdk 9 looking up the annotation in parameter directly via the core java.land.reflector parameter api always fail to uh, fail for inner class constructor that is a constructor in a nested at nested test class the parameter context api supplied to the parameter soul implements Implementation therefore include the following convenient method for correctly looking up the annotations on parameters. Extensions authors are strongly encouraged to use these methods instead of those provided in Java.land or effect parameter in order to avoid this bug in the JDK. Boolean is annotated, classed uh, but uh, question mark extended annotation, annotation type, optional A uh, fine annotation, class A annotation type, list A fine repeatable annotations, class A annotation type. The other extensions can also leverage a registered parameter resolvers for method and constructor invocations using executable invoker available via the get executable invoker method in the extensions context. Uh, test result processing watch uh, test uh, watcher defines the uh, API for extension that wish to process the result of the test method execution specifically uh, a test watcher will be invoked in contextual information for the following uh, for the events interface watch a uh, test watcher in package or generator jupyter api dot extension in module or generator jupyter api test watcher defines the api for extension that wish to process test results uh, test disabled invoked after disabled test method has been c skipped test successful invoked after test method has completed su successfully test aborted in no craft uh, test method has been uh, aborted test failed in no after a test method failed in contrast to the definition of a test method presented in definitions in this uh, context test method refer to any at test method or at uh, test template method for example at repeatable, repeatable at repeated test or at parameterized test extensions implemented this uh, in interface can be registered at the class level, instance level, or method level. When registered at the class level, a test watcher must invoke for any contained test method, including those in the at nested, nested classes. When registered at the method level, uh, a test watcher will only be invoked for the test method for the for which it was registered. If a test watcher is registered via an unstatic instance field, for example, uh, a registration extension, uh, uh, the uh, and the test class is configured with at instance lifecycle.per method, a semantics which is default lifecycle mode the test watcher will not be invoked with events for at template test methods for example at repeated test or at parameterized test to ensure the test watcher is invoked to all test method in a given class it is therefore recommended that the test watcher is to be registered at the class level with ex at extension with or via static field with uh, at registration as register extensions or extension with if there is a failure at the class level for example exception thrown by be at before all low method no test result will be reported similarly if the test class is disabled via a execution condition for example at disabled no test result will be reported uh, in the uh, in contrast to the other extension in APIs the test watcher is not permitted to adversely influence the execution of tests Consequently, any exception thrown at the method in the test watcher API will be logged at warning level and will not be allowed to propagate or fail test execution. In instances of extension context or store dot closable resource stored in the store of the provided extension 
context will be closed before methods in the test watcher api are invoked you can use the parent context store to work with such resources now we are considering uh, before and uh, after test execution callbacks in test lifecycle callbacks and extension that uh, times the log times and logs the execution test methods uh, the interface before test execution callback uh, in package org.generate.api.extension extension in module org.generate.api the before test execution callback defined api for extensions that wish to provide additional behavior to test immediately before an individual test is executed but uh, after any user defined set of methods uh, that is uh, for example at before each methods have been uh, executed for that test uh interface after test execution callback uh, in package org.generate.api.extension in module org.generate.api after test execution callback define api for extension that wish to provide additional behavior to test immediately after the individual test has been executed uh, but after any uh, user defined setup methods uh, methods uh, for example after each uh, Sorry, uh, before uh, any user-defined uh, setup methods, uh, for example, at uh, after each methods have been executed for that test. Uh, before test execution callback and uh, after test execution callbacks, define the API for extension that wish to add the behavior that will be executed immediately before and immediately after. Uh, uh, a test method is uh, executed uh, respectively uh, as such these callbacks are well suited for timing and tracing uh, and similar use cases if you need to implement a callback that are invoked around at before and after uh, and uh, after each methods implement before each callback and after each callback instead for example shows how to uh, use these callbacks to calculate and log the execution time of a test method the the uh, time extension implements uh, uh, both before test execution callback and after test execution callback in order to time and log the test execution Since uh, timing accession tests uh, class registered the uh, timing extension uh, via uh, at extend with its test will have the timing applied when they act, when they execute. The following is an example of uh, logging produced when timing extension class or uh, extension test is run. It's the get store method. I just missed it.
now we are considering exception handling and exception handling extension that uh, filters the io exception in test execution the interface uh, test execution exception handler in package extension in module api uh, the uh, test execution exception handler defines the api for ext uh, extension that wish to handle exceptions thrown during test execution uh, Exceptions thrown during uh, the test execution may be intercepted and handled accordingly before propagating further and so certain actions like error logging or resource releasing may be defined in specialized uh, extensions. Um, JNU Jupyter offers API for extension that wish to handle exceptions thrown during a test method via test execution exception handler or for those thrown during one of the test lifecycle method. Uh, at before all, at the each, at before each, at uh, after each, and at after all via lifecycle method execution exception handler. The following example show the extension that we uh, swallow all instances of uh, IO exception, uh, but rethrow any other exception uh, type. Now we are considering an uh, intercept, uh, intercepting uh, invocations and extension that exceed, execute test in a user defined thread. Uh, uh, the interface invocation interceptor in package .api extension in module .api invocation interceptor define the API for extension that wish to intercept calls to test code to the test code. Uh, uh, invocation interceptor defines the API for extension that wish to intercept calls to the test code. Uh, the following example shows the extension that execute all test methods at uh, uh, at Swing's uh, event dispatch thread. Um, but at test and uh, template, uh, uh, now we are considering a provide invocation context for uh, for test templates. A test template will like accompany like, accompanying extension. The interface test template uh, test, templ test template invoc invocation uh, provider. Uh, uh, In uh, package org.jnu.jupyter.api dot extension in module org.jnu.jupyter.api, a test te template invocation context provider defines the API for extension that wish to provide one or more multiple context for uh, the invocation of a te te test template uh, method. Uh, a test template method can uh, only be executed when and at least one at um, Test template invocation context provider is registered. Each such provider is responsible for providing stream of test template invocation context. Um, 
test uh, context instances each context may specify custom display name and list of additional extensions uh, that will only be used for the next invocation of at test template method the following example shows how to write a test template as well as how to register and implement test template invocation context uh, provide In this example, the test template will be invoked uh, twice. Um, the display names of the invocation will be uh, um, uh, apple and uh, banana as is specified by the invocation context. Uh, each invocation register custom parameter resolver. Um, which uses the risk to resolve the method parameter output when using the console launcher as follows the test uh, template invocation context provider uh, extension API is primary extent uh, extend intended for implementing different kind of tests that rely on repetitive invocation of tests like uh, tests like method albeit in different uh, different context for example with different parameters by preparing the context class instances differently or multiple times without modifying the context. P triple the implementation of repeated test and parameter test which use the extension point to provide their functionality. Now we are considering keeping state in extensions. The consult the corresponding Java doc for details on the methods available for storing and retrieving values via the store. Interface extension context.store in package org.generative.api.extension in module org.generative.api. The store provides the method for extensions to save and retrieve data. Uh, usually an extension is instantiated by once or one, only once. So the question becomes relevant. Uh, how do you keep the state of the one, one instance of an extension to the next? The extension context API provides store exactly for the purpose. Extension may put values to, to into a store later for a later retrieval. Uh, it is important to remember that uh, values stored in the extension context during the test execution will not be available in the surrounding extension context. See, since the extension context may be nested, the scope of inner context may be also be limited. Consult the corresponding Java doc for details of the on the methods available for storing and retrieving via store. Extension context dot store dot closable resource. An extension context store is bound to its extension context lifecycle. When an extension context lifecycle ends, it closes its associated store. All stored values that are instances of closable resource are not notified by an invocation of their close method 
in in okay uh, in the inverse order they were added in now we are considering uh, annotation support in supported utilities in extensions consult the java doc for annotation support for further details uh, class annotation support in package org.jmdu platform.commons.support uh, in module org.jmdu uh, 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 in the module of the general platform dot commons, this is uh, basically with the uh, platform. Uh, the annotation support provides static static utility method for common task regarding annotations. For example, checking if a class method or field is annotated with a particular annotation, finding annotation on a given class method or field, finding field so methods are not annotated with a particular annotation. So this is more related to a generic platform. Uh, reflection, uh, sorry. Uh, annotation support for static utility methods that operate on annotation elements, packages, annotations, classes, interfaces, constructors, methods, and fields. These include methods to check uh, whether an element is annotated or meta annotated with a particular annotation, to search for specific annotations, and to find annotated method and the fields in the, in the class or interface. Some of these methods search to on implemented interface uh, and within class hierarchies to find annotations. Um, now we are considering relative uh, execution order of use code and extensions here wrapping behavior of callbacks. Uh, all methods important statistically from a logger class uh, uh, log contextual information in order to help us better understanding of the execution order of the use supplied <coughs> callback and callback methods in extensions. Uh, before interface before each callback in package org dot dot api dot extension in module org dot api the before each callback defines the api for extension that wish to provide conditional behavior to test before an individual uh, test and any user defined setup methods for example at before each uh, methods for that test have been executed uh, interface uh, after each callback uh, uh, in pa package org.jupyter.api dot extension in module org.jupyter.api uh, each uh, each after each callback define the API for extension that wish to provide uh, additional behavior to test after the end individual test and any user defined tear down methods for example uh, after each methods for that. Uh, uh, have been executed. Uh, General Jupyter always uh, guarantees the wrapping behavior of the multiple register extension that implement the lifecycle callback such as uh, before all callback, after uh, all callback. Uh, uh, before each call, uh, each callback, after each callback, before test execution callback and after test execution callback. That means that the given two extension, extension one and extension two, uh, with the with extension one registered before extension uh, two, uh, any before callback implemented by extension one uh, are guaranteed to execute before any before callbacks in implemented by extension two. Uh, similarly, given the two same two uh, two extension registered in the same order, and any uh, after callback simply by extension one is uh, guaranteed uh, uh, to execute after any after callbacks implemented by. Uh, execution uh, 2 uh, extension 1 and extension 2 therefore set to wrap uh, uh, 
uh, sorry uh, extension one is therefore uh, set to wrap uh, extension uh, two general jupyter also guarantees the wrapping behavior within a, within class and interface hierarchy for user supplied lifecycle method uh, before all uh, uh, methods are inherited from the superclass as long as they are not hidden or written or superseded that is replaced based on the signature uh, uh, only irrespective of java visibility rules therefore before all methods from the superclass will be executed before before all methods in the subclass Similarly, that before all methods uh, declared in an interface are inherited as long as they are not hidden or written, and we are at before all methods from the interface will be executed before at before at before all methods in the class that implement the interface. Uh, after at after all methods are inherited from the superclass as long as they are not hidden, overridden, or superseded. Uh, that is replaced based on the sig signature only, irrespective of Java visibility rules. Therefore, at after all methods from the superclass will be executed after uh, the after all methods in the subclass. Uh, similarly, at after all method declared in the interfaces are inherited as long as they are not hidden or overridden, and after all methods from the interface will be executed after after all methods uh, in that class implemented uh, implements the interface. Uh, at before each uh, 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 methods are inherited from the superclass as long as they are not overridden or superseded that is replaced based on the signatures only and irrespective of Java visibility rules therefore at before each methods from the superclass will be executed before before each methods in the subclass similarly at before each methods uh, declared as interface uh, default methods are inherited as long as they are not overridden <laughs> and uh, before each <laughs> default method will be executed before before each methods in this class implements the interface after each methods uh, are inherited from the superclass as long as they are not overridden or superseded uh, replaced based on the signature and respective of java visibility rules therefore furthermore after each methods from the superclass will be executed after <laughs> at after each method in the subclass similarly at after each method declared as interface default methods are inherited as long as they are not overridden and at after each default method will be executed after at after each uh, methods in the class that implements the interface following examples demonstrate that behavior please note that the example do not actually do not actually do anything real stick instead of mimic the common scenarios for testing interaction with the database all methods important statistically for the logger class uh, log contextual information in order to help us better understanding of the execution order of the supplied callback method and callback methods extensions
now we are considering uh, jenner jupiter uh in uh, dependency metadata metadata the uh, jenner jupiter api uh, 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 in art uh, artifact id jenner jupiter api in uh, group id octo jenner jupiter jenner jupiter api for writing tests and extensions um as an exception example we can consider this quad segment here the method uh, public static uh, t extend throwable t assert throws class t expected value uh, and an executable uh, executable here uh, assert that execution of the su supplied uh, executable throws an exception uh, of the expected type and uh, returns the exception if uh, no exception is thrown or if the exception is of a different type is thrown uh, this method will fail if you do not want to perform additional checks on the exception instance ignore the return value uh, this uh, method is in uh, class assertions uh, as an uh, uh, as an uh, example we can consider this error occurred in uh, the environment uh, jvnit and maven project uh, uh, this error occurred in uh, JUnit and Maven project in NetBeans. Uh, uh, error package or uh, org.jvnit.jupiter.api does not exist. Uh, 